Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Charles, AKA The Plant Bender. And today's video is going to be a fun one. What better way to start off the new year than my 2023 wish list plan? So I have a long list of plants that I definitely wanna get my hold on this year, but I narrowed it down to four that I really, really am going to work hard on acquiring in 2023. So here are my four wishlist plants that I definitely, hopefully in December of 2023, I'll be making a video showing you these plants. The first plant is going to be the Philodendron Strawberry Shade. As a Philodendron lover, when I finally get around to doing a plant tour, you guys will see I am obsessed with philodendrons. I love them in every form, whether it's the heart leaf that I've shown multiple times or like the golden goddess that kind of peeks out back here. Um, I am, am in love with them. And the philodendron strawberry shake is absolutely stunning. This plant is beautiful once it's mature, like it kind of has that pink reddish look on the leaves. They are a little bit of, ex they are a little expensive and I know I could probably find a really small one or a cutting semi-affordable for plant parenting, but I would like a little bit more mature plant. So I am on the hunt for that. So if you guys see one anywhere, please tag me here on Instagram, DM me. Like I am on the hunt for one that is reasonably priced. I do know that they are expensive, so I am realistic, but that is definitely one I want to get within the next coming months. The second plant is going to be the Anthurium Regal. This plant is gorgeous. Now, I've wanted this plant for a few years now, but I want it to be comfortable with, you know, anthuriums, alocasias, all those plants that require like high humidity can be temperamental before I spent the money on them. I know I can get one pretty affordable now. I've been seeing them online that pretty affordable, but they're all so small. With anthuriums, I just, ugh, I would like to get a more mature plant. Unfortunately, where I'm at, none of my local nurseries plants there's only one plant shop in my town and they don't get any plants like that. They keep it pretty standard. So I am gonna have to order it online, which also makes me a little leery because just shipping and you know, all that. But I am on the hunt for one of those. So an Ethereum Regal is definitely my second one. I feel like I'm able to keep them alive now. He definitely will live in the hutch behind me with the rest of my little temperamental guys there. The third plant. The Philodendron Melanochrysum. Now this one I actually have been shopping around for and they're actually not that expensive. I think I've been seeing them for about 30 bucks, which is affordable, I guess, you know, when it comes to buying plants. Um, I definitely wanna get one of them. Again, all of my wish list plants, I have to get online. There is not a nursery, even in the city that's like two hours from me, the nurseries there, are, they carry some rare plants, but they're very, hit or miss on what they carry. So that, um, this, you see, yeah, so the Melanocrysum, the Philodendron Melanocrysum. A lot of people I follow on YouTube have them. They are gorgeous, they're beautiful. They have those giant, you know, leaves. It just, ugh. And I finally have the space for one. So that is definitely three. That one I probably will acquire within the next coming weeks because I have like five or six different ones in different carts on different websites. So that will probably be coming soon. And the fourth plant, fourth but not final, would definitely be the Monstera Obliqua. Now, I know these are like kind of controversial in the plant community, mainly because people are selling like wet sticks at a ridiculous price point. Ones that barely, the nodes, you never know. Of course, if you know the node, you have no idea of knowing if it's gonna root or not. I've seen wet stick um, obliquas going in the hundreds of dollars on like line on some sites and I just, as someone who is willing to spend some money on plants that I really want, I just cannot bring myself to do that, which is why I started my plant journey and my YouTube and my Instagram, everything was to make house plants more affordable, especially rare plants more affordable for people who can't necessarily spend the hundreds of dollars for plants. So that one is towards the bottom of my wish list, not, not because I don't want it, but because they are just so expensive and they are just so hard to come by. And I also wanna make sure I can give it like the best environment to thrive because <laughs> i know they can be temperamental a lot of people i see who have them have them like in terrariums or like enclosed spaces and like i said i do have the hutch back there but i even that i don't know if that's going to be proper enough for that so that one's probably going to be like the last one i get to or maybe if i'm gifted it or if i find it even a small one at a reasonable price 
I would definitely get that one, but I refuse to buy like wet sticks of it or just like small cuttings of them just because if they were $10, absolutely. But like I said, I've seen wet sticks in the hundreds of dollars. I've had my fair share of buying cuttings that never rooted and I spent money on, so I won't do that again. But yeah, so those are my four wish list house plans for 2023. Hopefully I'll be giving you an update as I acquire them. Hopefully I do acquire them this year, you know. I probably will be giving more updates of other wish list plans because my, like I said, my list is very long <laughs> that I want to uh, get this year, kind of grow my collection. Um, I did have a Thai constellation on there, but I did recently just purchase one of those. I'm waiting for it to get here. I actually purchased three of them. And then I purchased two Monstera white stripes and I believe like four or five Monstera variegated um, at a Sonia. So those are also were on my wish list plans, <laughs> but I purchased them. So I'm waiting them all to now be delivered. Hopefully they come in good shape. Fingers crossed that will be a video coming soon once they actually get here. But thank you guys for joining me on my 2023 wish list plants. I am Charles the Plant Printer and see you next time.